So I'm going to do this new series where I'm going to take a retro console, take my fist, shove it right up into the nether regions of nostalgia, grab onto memories, pull the whole thing inside out for all of you to see. And what better way to start off the first episode with my first console, the Sega Master System 2. When I think of the Master System, I don't really think of the games as such. I think of like the memories around them. I mean, taking, taking Moonwalker for example. I mean, I was about three or four when I got the console. So it was probably around about 1990, 1991. Um, and I mean, just taking Moonwalker. I was a huge Michael Jackson fan. I mean, I still, still like his music, um, but I mean, back then, Apparently, I couldn't even stop dancing. This game got played to hell. I mean, you can see from the state of the case. I mean, these are all the original games as well. Um, I've managed to hold on to them for a good 20 odd year. Um, but I remember I remember completing this quite a few times um, with the help of my dad as well. Because some, I mean, some games here yeah, I used to play a bit with him as well. Um, and then taking another one, we've got Mortal Kombat. Um, I mean, I used, to, I used to love this as well, but when I think of this, I think of when I went into hospital, um, was in first school, and one of my friends, like, everyone knew that he was, like, one of my best friends in the class, so the teacher asked him to draw, like, the, the, the picture for the front of the car, which, like, all the class signed and stuff. But uh, the picture on the front was Raiden, because, I mean, me and him used to play Mortal Kombat all the time. Um, not sure if he had the Mega Drive version, but either way, I used to play Mortal Kombat a lot with him. So, just thinking of the character Raiden and that card and stuff, and it's all the other memories around it. Um, I mean, taking Action Fighter as well. Now, when I say I used to play games with me dad, I mean me stepdad. My real dad bought us this. But I never really saw much, um, so this is probably like really one of the own, only like big memories I have of them. Um, that and the smell of stale coffee. That smell comes from the journey to the shop where you, where you got this for us because it was um, Westgate Road. I mean, I guess the only people in Newcastle really would know when uh, Westgate Road is, but there was a second-hand game shop there in the early 90s and I got this from there and that street had this really bad smell but um, it wasn't until years later that I smelt that again and found out that it, that smell was stale coffee so it's it's that smell um, that I can, I can smell in my memory as I think of this game but I used to play this a lot with my stepdad but I mean just the games, I mean, they're all good games, but it's it's more like the memories that these videos are about. So getting away from my games, when I think of the Master System, I think of um, my friend Gary. I mean, he'll be watching right now, and I'm sure all these memories are going to come flooding back to him as well, as I mentioned some other things. Um, but I mean, he sent us a list, of because I mean, I told him I was going to do these videos, and he sent us a list of games that we used to play. Um, I mean, Prince of Persia. I can remember that. Back then, we used to play it loads, like as if it was some amazing game. I mean, he still likes it, but I mean, I just really can't stand it. It was a timed game, which, uh, what's the point? It's like, it's like you've got to rush through the game or else you're not going to complete it. But the movement was so weird as well. Like, it was like... It was like there was too many sprites, so you'd still be moving after you had stopped pressing any buttons, and you would run too far, fall into spikes, die, game over. You've got to start from the start again. Um, it's just a really frustrating game. I just can't stand it anymore. But, I mean, you had uh, Mickey Mouse Land of Illusion. Um, I mean, I've played, I've played it uh, a few times since then uh, on emulators and stuff. It's still a, still a good game. Um, I mean, the ninja, and he's put a little note there as well saying, I think everybody used to own this, and he's probably right. Um, this is a really good game. It's almost like a shooter, um, but I mean, check it out. That's a great game. California Games and Olympic Gold. 
um, I remember playing them as well. It's just, it's just all these little memories from being at his and remember and moving on. It's not really just the master system I think of, um, like in the games and the stuff. When I think of the master system, it's it's all the toys that we used to play with as well. I mean, there was Mighty Max. I used to have loads of Mighty Max toys. Had um, the Dragon Island the spaceship, um, like a little hand, a skull, loads of different ones. He had loads as well. Um, so I would, I think. I'm not sure if I took mine to his, um, because like all the little bits were like dead small, so you would probably lose them. But we used to go to each other's houses and play with them and stuff. And we also used to play with a monster in my pocket as well. Um, I had loads of them. I had this um, like a lunchbox full of them. No idea where it went. Um, and also, he used to have um, another toy called Monster Face. It was a, a fun toy. But it just used to make so much mess. But I mean, we used to play with that all the time. Um, and there's more memories from being at Gary's as well. Um, but I'm going to save that for another video. Um, I didn't want to go too much into detail um, with things here. But just like, keep it nice and short. But I'd like to see some video responses and maybe some some of your memories like not really from the console itself but like just from things around it things that you think of when someone mentions a master system or any other console but um yeah get some video responses and i'll see you soon